Hey guys, Archie Luxury on the Archie Luxury channel. And today guys, I want to update you on my Patek Philippe sale. It's a grand classic from Patek Philippe. And uh, I, I announced on the, uh, the Paul Pluto channel that I was going to part with my Patek Philippe world time. And I got to tell you, I want to talk about my experiences with this watch and why the fucking hell I am so fucking angry at time wasters. And uh, I just want to explain the story and you can see where I'm, I'm coming from. So I got to tell you, my good friend Dave said to me, Archie, 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 get rid of the world time. <coughs> he said, it's a lot of money. You can sell it and turn it into a float seed capital to buy some watches I can buy and sell like a small business because I gotta be completely frank and honest with you the Google Ads it's really not cutting it it's really not cutting it I'm not making enough to survive and treat the carpet beetles and you know life is expensive so I thought you know Dave <laughs> you got a good point there I might, um, I might um, sell, I'll put it on the market. So what I did was I listed my Patek Philippe World Time. I listed it on Gumtree. Gumtree is like Australia's answer to Craigslist. It's Australia's answer to Craigslist. So I, I listed it on Gumtree itself there. And I had a number of interesting dialogues, some real interesting punters, some really, really interesting punters who, uh, you know, I, 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 you just got to try your luck in the big city. You know how it is there. So um, anyhow, so I listed it at 30. I had a look on Chrono24 and... Uh, <laughs> The cheapest, the cheapest world time, uh, there's one at Goldberg. Goldberg's got a yellow gold 5110. Uh, <coughs> no papers, <clears throat> and I don't think it had the Patek box, for about 30,000 Australian, okay? That's about 20, what's that, 23 US, I think it is. So I thought, you know, you want to try and price your product uh, you want to be competitive. You want to be competitive. So I thought to myself, the best thing I can do is be realistic. Be realistic in my pricing. I thought, okay, I'll list it at, mine's got box and papers. The papers seem to be worth a couple thousand dollars because on Chrono24, <laughs> the cheapest one with box and papers is about 34,000 Australian dollars. 34, 35,000 Australian dollars. So I thought, if I list mine at 30 grand, it's fair compared to Chrono24 prices. And I got a little bit of wriggle room. There's a little bit of wriggle room there. So I thought, hey, this will be this will be fine. Uh, I, I thought, okay, let's 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 give this a shot there. Um, I thought, let's let's see what happens. So uh Anyhow, I get a message. I get a message in. Hey, mate. Um, he goes, hey, mate, is this available? He's talking to my Paddock Philippe. Well, time 5110J, complete with box and papers on Gumtree. Also, do you have a Nautilus or annual calendar? Sid. Okay. I said, watch is still available. Not selling any other Pateks. I've only got one, fuckers. I've only got one. I mean, how many do you think I got here? Uh, I said, okay, he talked about where are we based, and I said, look, okay, uh, can you send the exact reference? And I said, well, he's asking very amateur-type questions. It's a 5110J. I mean, <clears throat> I said, uh, I'm currently, I said, I da 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 send him some pics. Uh, he goes, is it 36 mil? And I say, no, it's 37. It's in yellow gold. It's a 5110. He goes to me, can you do 25k cash this week? And I said, I said, no, no, no. I, 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 I want 
more. I said I paid more and I want more money for the piece. He goes, I need to look at it. I'm not here to waste your time though. Um, okay, okay. Um, he goes to me, he says, I just ordered a 5711, set me back 68,000. Complete tosser, this guy. Uh, so I probably wanted another dress watch, probably 27 at best. But if you're firm, I said, okay, 28 and I will sell. Complete with box and papers. When can I look at it? Are you around? Okay, so 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 I, I, I meet up with him yesterday. And I said to him, before I met him, I said, your questions sound like the stuff a novice would ask. Uh, he tells me he's just starting out. Da, 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 da. Okay, okay, okay. And, um... He, uh, so, so, so we meet up and, uh, I gotta be honest with you. We sat down, we had coffee, we had coffee, um, and, uh, we had coffee, um, we had coffee. I mean, I had to pay for fucking parking and it took three hours of my life. So, Okay. <laughs> So we go in there. I don't like to do the hard sell. I, I, I kind of, when I'm dealing with the sales kebab, I like to say, okay, let's have a look at this watch. Sat down, had coffee, had a bit of a chit chat, looked at, you know, had to talk about his some of his watches. Okay, it's all going cool. The sales kebab. Okay, let's pull out the Patek. Let's pull out the Patek. Pull out the Patek to, you know, let's, let's, let's have a look. Let's have a look. I pull out the Patek Philippe, a grand classique from Patek Philippe. I pull out the Patek Philippe and he looks at it. And what really pisses me off is the bastard tries it on. I mean, so oh, can you resize it for my wrist? And I thought, oh, fuck. It looks like the sale's going to happen. I'm trying to close. Coffee is for closers. Glenn Ross Gary, that movie. Coffee is for closers. I'm getting into the coffee. We're getting into the, um, I want to close the deal, fuckers. I want to close the deal. So I said, okay, I'll resize. Yeah, yeah, he takes a photo on it, on his grubby, nasty fucking wrist. He takes a photo on his nasty, grubby fucking wrist. And, uh... Yeah, I'm thinking, okay, what the, I'm just, you know, I'm just trying to be polite, consultant selling, you know. Yes, yes, chatting a bit, yeah, yeah, what do I, he had two fucking girl-sized paddocks. He had a fucking 3919, 33mm, fucking, the sort of thing a woman would wear. And he had this vintage fucking paddock, overpaid on both. He paid like $10,000 each, which, on the 3919, it's not terminal, but on the fucking vintage Horrid fucking blue dial. Fucking the most awful, nasty fucking blue. It's like the ellipse blue, except fucking uglier. And, you know, I'm thinking to myself, okay, he's asking me, what do I, I said, well, these are kind of fucking shit of Pateks. They're not, they're not classy 5110 Pateks. These are kind of mistake Pateks, we would call them in, in the trade, you know, but I don't want to say anything too nasty. I want to try and get this sale over the fucking line. I want to get the sale over the line. And then, you know, I said, okay, do, what did you want to do? Just trying to, you know, just talking nicely. He goes, you know, I'm 80% sure I'll take it. I'm thinking, fuck me, dad. 80% you fucking loser. 80% you fucking loser. You fucking time waster. You fucking piece of shit. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, this is, I made the mistake, never, ever. Indians, doctors, and Vietnamese, be careful with these people, okay? Be very, very careful. They just want to waste your time. And uh, I'm thinking to myself, fuck, this is, I can't understand it. <laughs> you were texting me offers, texting me offers. You made an offer. 28, we're going to pull the trigger. I mean, why make fucking offers if you're not ready to go to the next level? 
And I just couldn't get it. I couldn't fucking get it. I couldn't fucking get this. It's um, complete fucking time waster. Complete fucking time waster. And uh, see, <coughs> normally my bullshit radar sensors that are out there, they were a little bit uh, slack because I just purchased in the morning, <coughs> I purchased this beautiful tag Hoya Monaco. So I'm in a good mood. I'm in a good mood, you know. It's, um, I, I'm in a great mood. I just picked up a new piece and well, we'll sat down and we'll have a chat. I'm working on my bedside sales banner because people have said I'm a little bit abrupt. So, you know, I've been doing the thing. Yeah, yeah, chatting. Yeah, yeah. And he's a fucking time waster. And I kind of, he tells me he's 80% sure he's going to take it. What the fuck? What a fucking, this is just the absolute bullshit. And uh, anyhow, I said to him, I said to him, I said, I, I, I sent him a text. I said, uh, thanks for seeing me today. Price is now 30000 Okay. Um, and he comes back. Thanks. Love the watch. Let me do some research, especially on Chrono 24 about its undervaluation. Like, this guy is so fucking slow and fucking just, just, just a real cunt. Uh, if you come across any Super Ocean or Breguets, because I, I brought my, my Breguet a couple other watches, and I would be grateful. I mean, I'm thinking, fuck me dead. It's not my job to find deals for you, you lousy son of a bitch. I mean, I buy the deals. These are for me, not for fucking you, you lousy son of a bitch. Uh, <clears throat> I said, I don't care about what research you do. The price is 30000 Today was 28000 but you were too wishy-washy. So the price is now 30000 And uh, I, I got to tell you, this guy here, I said to him this morning, I was still angry, angry and shitty all night about it. <coughs> I said to him, I texted him this morning, whose time are you going to waste today? Why don't you ring Mercedes and uh, pretend you're interested in, S in an SL? And I said to him, I thought you were ready to pull the trigger yesterday. <clears throat> I have no idea why you make offers if you have no fucking idea what you're doing. You wasted three hours of my time for fucking nothing. Please stop making offers if you have no idea what you are doing. And, uh... It's, uh, this guy's a complete fucking time waster. Complete fucking time waster. He goes, oh, I'm sorry if I upset you. That was never my intention. I was interested to have a look and you offered to come in. That's because I'm going to fucking sell the thing, you stupid, lousy, lousy fucking cunt. I wanted to sell the watch, you fucking piece of shit. And, uh, I would have come out to see you. As if I want that lousy lech, leech of a fucking critter wasting my time and... I you want to buy the fucking thing or you want to fucking talk tiddlywinks? And uh, I thought you were happy to meet. Yeah, I want to fucking sell it, you lousy fucking shit. You poor excuse of a human being, you fucking son of a bitch. And then they wonder why I'm angry. They wonder why I'm angry. Because I got fucking things to do. I got paid reviews I got to do. These cunts are paying me money. And I'm wasting time with you, you fucking loser. Loser, loser, loser. I mean, what the fuck? It's ABC, isn't it? And uh, I got to tell you, I'm just so fucked off with Gumtree. I'm fucking, I'm taking the ad down. They can fuck off and circle jerk. They can fuck off and circle jerk. It's not available now. Not for sale. Not for sale. They can fuck off. Fuck, 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 fuck off. That's what they can do. I had enough. I tried my best to get the sale in the door. Tried my best. Tried my best. And the thing that really fucks me off is <laughs> I've already spent the money in my head, you know. I had a gondola at watch time in, in, in Melbourne I was going to look at. <laughs> there was a white gold gondola. He wanted 16990 I was going to see if I could get that fucking 14 or 15 I had a... Uh, there's a Milgauss at Armadale... <coughs> sorry. European Watch Gallery. That's Shawnee. Uh, that was... Six nine. Let's see if I can get a discount and then claim the tax back. And they also had there was an Air King. There was a great Air King floating around at a good price. So I've already spent the money in my head, and I was going to pay for the Pam as well. Pay for the Pam, the Panerai, the Panerai, the Paneristi. 
I was going to get the Pam. I was going to do this, do that. <coughs> I owe Dave a couple thousand bucks on the uh, the Monaco because I was I was running short, fuckers. I was running short, so I, I I got all this pressure on me and the lousy lecherous snakes. They just waste your time. If that son of a bitch is watching this video, how about you fucking pay me so a donation for wasting fucking three hours of my time? What do you reckon, fuckers? And I just had enough. Absolutely had <coughs> had enough. Had enough. This is the losers you need to deal with on Gumtree. Fucking time wasting fucking losers. That's what you're dealing with. Time wasting fucking losers. So I've removed it, not for sale, they can all go fuck off. Hey guys, my name is Paul Pluter. I'm the method actor who plays Archibald Chesterfield III, AC3. Guys, guys, I need a bit of help. I need a bit of help. I need a bit of help. It's very hard running a YouTube channel relying on Google Ads alone. I'm in a special niche and I speak my mind and I've, I don't have all those Seiko wannabes, all the people who want assurance about their affordable shitters. So I've got to really try hard to bring in the revenue. Guys, if you like my content, if you think I'm a great, great chap to have around, why don't you help me out? There's a number of ways you can help me out. This will keep me full time on YouTube. Look in the description of this video for some ways you can help me. You could sponsor me on Patreon. That allows you to send a small monthly amount to me every month. It can be a dollar, it can be a hundred dollars, whatever you can afford. The next way you can help me is, well guys, I, I really need some money to keep things going. Paid reviews. On the Paul Pluter channel, I run paid reviews. For as little as 20 US dollars, I'll give you an opinion of your collection, of what you're looking at, I'll try and answer. There's heaps of other ways you can help me. I do telephone consultancy. For 50 US dollars, I will talk to you on Skype or WhatsApp and answer your horological or personal problems. Any questions, I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. Now guys, please help us out. Look down below, and if you, if you, if you could help us out, I will stay here and make videos full time on YouTube. Oh, fuckers, I forgot to tell you too. The other thing about it was when we were having coffee with this loser yesterday, <laughs> he tells me, so he shows me his watches, which is fine. He had an Explorer 2 42 mil, that's the new Polo Explorer 2. And he had this really nice orange uh, rubber bee strap fitted to it. And then he says to me, he says, Oh, is there any chance <clears throat> you could locate a bracelet for me? I said, what do you mean a bracelet for you? He goes, well, there's a bit of a story. <coughs> there's a bit of a story. When I got the, um, the rubber bee strap fitted, I uh, got them. They, I also bought a Seiko war clock. And they put the bracelet in the box <clears throat> with the Seiko wall clock. <clears throat> and uh, when I got home, I hung the Seiko wall clock up and I threw the box away. I threw the box away with the bracelet in it. I said to him, you're fucking joking, aren't you? I said, do you know how fucking hard it is to get that bracelet? <laughs> I said, you got fucking... You got, you got two chances, none and Buckley's to fucking get a replacement. I said, they're thousands of dollars, <coughs> thousands of dollars. <clears throat> I said, my mate Scotty was trying to get a second bracelet for his Batman and they're next to impossible to get. I said, you're looking at two and a half to three thousand fucking dollars. I said, <clears throat> you lost the fucking bracelet. I said, are you fucking for real? I just knew it. I knew it. When he told me this story, I knew he's not the right person for the paddock, Philippe. How could I sell him my paddock when he's such a fucking idiot? Okay.